Okay, here I'm going to show how with FME Server we can also leverage um, the file system activity. So what this means is that um, we have a, a component that you can get with FME 2012 that'll be part of FME 2013 in which you drop a file in a directory. FME Server will see it and then you can have FME Server execute a workspace on that. So um, the question then is how do you get the file to the server? And here in this demo I'm going to leverage Dropbox. So Dropbox is going to be the delivery mechanism um, and essentially FME server has a Dropbox account and it shares a directory with different users. Different users are given different directories so the users are kept isolated and when a user drops a file on the Dropbox it gets copied to server, server does its thing and then the file comes back. So this is what it looks like, okay? So um, a user puts a file on his Dropbox and um, the jobs run, the output gets of the workspace gets put back and of course you can have multiple users um, doing this. Okay, so there you go. Yep, and it goes back and so now I'm going to demo this. Okay, so here we go. It's very simple. I'm gonna um, simply quit this. I'm going to simply pop up two of these. Okay, finder windows. First one I'm going to go to is the source data for this one. Watch der data. Okay, there it is there. And over here I'm going to go to my Dropbox folder and I'm going to drag and drop things in there. On it safe. First, I'm just going to do a plain drag and drop. I have this configured so that if I drop any files without um, further direction, it's simply going to go to shape. So I drop that and it's going to convert that to shape. What I can also do is I can create a folder with the format name format PDF2D. Okay, and um, Okay, we refresh this and you're going to see, oh, I have some output. And um, and there, in fact, is the output of the shapefile. So those are already done even before I get the next one set up. I'm going to drag and drop this uh, DWG and I'm going to put it in the, f well, I'm going to put it in the, um, oh, I'm not sure what I did there. Okay, 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 there we go, done at safe. And I'm going to grab this refresh this one and I'm going to grab this um, AutoCAD file and put it in here. So I'm going to say control like this, copy it, put it in there. So now I have a DWG. Because I put it in a, a directory who has the, the, the da after the dash is the short name of the format, it's automatically going to convert this to PDF in this case. Okay, so there you go. That's a PDF uh, um, document. Okay, just as easy as that. Okay, now what I also have done is um, I want to show that it also works for raster dash ECW. Okay, so I'm going to create that. Okay, and I'm going to put a TIFF in there. Okay, just like this. Control copy that in there. And now there's a ECW, in, or I put a TIFF in there. And if I go here, there it is there. And what's going to happen again, same old story, FME server is going to convert that to, in this case, it's going to be an ECW file. So I view with um, FME viewer, and you'll see it's an ECW file. And so there you go, very, very simple way of um, getting data to FME server just using the magic of of Dropbox and the workspaces themselves are trivial here's the workspace that's doing the work it's a simple generic to generic workspace um, and um, I it has a parameter also which is the output format which defaults to shape if the format name if the directory has the name of the format within it then I override that and that is all there is to it. So there you go. Okay, and...